Yo, what's up? We react this to some more House of Highlights. Shout out to my boy GD, man. It seems like he's just making videos specifically for the channel. Link is in the description. It's 25 moments that'll make you smile. But I'm trying to turn it into a try not to smile challenge, which is weird. Because I, 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 I smile a bunch. What can I say? Let's see how this goes. 14 minutes long. Again, link is in the description to the original. Subscribe if you're new around here, man. You know, we're trying to drop reactions as much as possible. So we're starting off with a Kobe over Paul George. Bang. Shout out to Kobe, man. Rest in peace. They get the foul. Paul George going to the free throw line. This is, uh, this is, yeah, this is what you came to see. Oh, man. I think today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm losing already. I can't help it. Um, today is, if I'm not mistaken, Gianna's birthday. Um, so rest in peace to to the Mamba and Mama Sita, and Mama Sita, man. May they both rest up. All right. Try not to smile. I already lost, by the way. I already lost. First clip. We have LeBron and Dwayne Wade on a kiss cam. You know, brothers for life. I'm not smiling at that one. You know what I'm saying? That ain't, that ain't really nothing. I like the basketball clips, though. Okay. So we're in the playoffs. Nice LeBron James save. Gives a hug to the fan on the sidelines. And then later, those save fans were burning his jersey just a few seasons later. We ain't forgot. When he left, they was burning the jerseys. And then they put it back on like four years later. <laughs> Fake fans. Fake fans. I gotta say. Fake fans. Fans, it is what it is, though. You know, he ended up winning one for the city. Okay, a lot of LeBron in these first couple clips. LeBron from three over Melo, miss. Marzoni with the board, pushing Anthony Davis. Oh, another, another sideline. And this is a moment she gonna she gonna talk about for the rest of her life. And it's out there forever. Tell the kids, the grandkids. Yeah, once upon a time, LeBron, not only did he knock me over, sideline, he picked me up. He gave me a hug. He rubbed my head. And now her goat just went from, from Jordan to LeBron because of that five-second interaction. Yeah. Another LeBron. LeBron's just making everybody smile, huh? Just make everybody smile. Going against the Hawks, that's probably an easy duh for them. Ah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's hard not to smile when, when I see Kobe. Especially Kobe just enjoying life in, in the way he did, for sure. This is a try not to smile, but also a try not to cry challenge. You know what I'm saying? It's a little bit. It's a little bit of both right now. Am I centered? Is that better? That is a little bit better. What's going on? I think he's going to Trez. To my Trez Harrell. What am I? What am I supposed to be smiling at? I don't know the context of this clip. And so, he went, made sure that he told Montrez Harrell what a good series he had. Oh yeah, yeah, this is the playoffs, man. They had a, they had a big old. That was a good playoff series. It was a one eight. We had that one game where like the Clippers came back when they were down by basically fifty points. It seemed like. They got time. Look at this baseball pass. What a pass by Jordan. And Kuzma fouls. Uh oh. Are, are they? Not? Yeah. The Clippers were off the bench and nearly on the floor. I was I was well, more amazed at the pass. I think the foul the, was the right kind of a foul. And I was more amazed at the pass. DeAndre Jordan just, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But Baseball, full court, 90 mile per hour, fastball. That was a try not to smile challenge. All right. Steven Adams. Oh, he catches him. He just saved this man's life. Save Mason Plumlee's life. Caught him a minute. This man, Stephen Adams, is not a human, bro. I, I, just, you cannot convince me that this is a human being. He's extraterrestrial. Everything about him. He, just, he literally just caught another seven-foot man while also trying to get a bucket. Look at him. Just caught him. Good sportsmanship. Helped him up and everything. But I've been I've been bridged like that before. People try to just jump over me. Luca, steal Luca, quick drive. No, it's a miss. Clay Thompson, up to KD. And one. And one. Oh, Luca talking to the fans. He ran into the fans. These are these are heartwarming moments, man. This dude gonna grow up and he gonna make it to the league. And he go wet at number seventy-seven because of this one interaction. This is the way things work. 
The fan not even smiling though. He more hurt than anything. All right, next. Josh Richardson around and around. Oh yeah, yeah. One of their last matchups together. One of their last matchups together. That's a bad shot. That was a bad, bad shot. <laughs> But I mean, it was a farewell tour for, 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 for Wade. It didn't matter if they lose in games, right? It was about Dwayne Wade this whole season. And guess what? He's gone now. And now they win it. <laughs> no, they, they definitely could have given him a better shot. But he wanted to be able to take the shot against Braun. Just in case. If that would have went in, if that would have went in, you know what I'm saying? That's everywhere. But yeah, this is their last um, matchup against each other. The last dance, if you will. LeBron, and they just talking. That's got to be awkward. I mean, I know these two players have been in the spotlight for 20 years. But to just have a normal conversation and there's 40, 40 cameras around you and you don't even acknowledge the cameras, you just have to be so used to being famous. You know what I'm saying? You have to be so used to being famous to just be able to do this. Oh, and this is the moment he said it was either here or the garden. LeBron was talking about either here or the garden. And people There's tried to make it seem change. like LeBron was saying that he was going to sign to New York. You know what I'm saying? Like, people tried to spin this whole conversation. They tried to. They tried to. Um, even the, I mean, when you think about the context, he could have been saying it was either here or I'm si I would have signed to New York. But idiot, what idiot. Dennis Scott, you know. Everybody to get it for the Instagram stories. I'm guessing it was on NBA Instagram because that's a big moment. Two legends. Two legends. Next year. Nine seconds left to the game. We have. Oh, uh, this is the moment. Dirk's last game in LA. Right? And yeah, he asked for a standing ovation. Or oh, is this his last game completely? Giving it up for Dirk. Bro, Dirk is my guy, bro. Dirk is my... I know everybody loves Dirk. There's no reason to not love Dirk. One year... I mean, one franchise in his whole career. He ended up getting a championship. He won an MVP. How can you not like Dirk? How can you not like Dirk? And then he ended up winning the series with, with Dwayne Wade and LeBron with fake coffee because he had the flu. Y'all remember that? Some of y'all may be too young to remember that. My first game, February 5th, 2017, my last game. His last game. I saw this graphic on Twitter yesterday. It was just yesterday when people were saying like Dwayne Wade's last game and they had his stat line. Kobe's last game and they had his stat line. So on and so forth. And then Paul Pierce's last game. He had zero points, zero rebounds, zero assists. Not this game. We're talking about his last official game. Not just his last game in Boston. Um, did he hit a shot this game? I think he ended up hitting a shot, right? They gave him an open shot and he hit it. Or am I thinking about Vince Carter? I might be thinking about Vince Carter because they're having Vince Carter this season too. Regardless. Shout out to, to the truth, man. Shout out to the truth. You know, he would have spent more, he would have spent his entire career in Boston if he could have. Yeah, they gave him the shot and he knocked it down right over here. I do remember this, okay. He would have spent his entire career there if if he didn't get if Danny Ainge then finesse the uh Brooklyn Nets for a hundred first round picks. For age and Kevin Garnett and the age and Paul Pierce, the pressure to hit that shot is crazy. You know what I'm saying? The pressure to hit that shot is crazy, and he did. The truth, man. The truth, for real. He was one of the clutchest players I ever seen, and that's a clutch bucket. That's a clutch bucket, for real. Celtic forever. That's nice. Save a Brown pull up. No good. Kyrie. Oh, this is the matchup of him and Brown. And then they dapped it up. Yeah. This is, yeah, this is the open night. So this is right after. Um, this is the first game of Kyrie's career in Boston. And LeBron doesn't get the win. Look at JR. JR just exists and it's funny. And I was like, JR's just one of those dudes. He exists and it's funny. I like the respect here from all. Shout out to him. From the former Cavs I can see that. For Kyrie. Channing Fry, Boston NBA Mike champion. Three, you know what I'm saying? Channing, Channing Fry had a couple, uh, couple moments in the finals, man, on that finals run, run where he had some run. big games for him. Obviously, he ain't dropping 30, but for Channing Fry in his old age, for sure. The Morris brothers, from one to another. So bo they both play in LA at this point. They said they were gonna carpool the games and stuff, like the just the twins, bro. They, they said their bank accounts are joining it, right? 
The Baker counts are jointed. I don't care if you're my brother, my sister, my mother. I'm not sharing a bank account with nobody. But they just that close. They just that close. LeBron. Okay. All right. That's fire. LeBron's. A, this is why LeBron's like. I really like LeBron on and off the court because he cares. You know what I'm saying? Even if he doesn't care, he acts like he cares, and that's enough. That's enough. So he showed some love to. I, they said Special Olympic um, athlete. Showed him some love. He's always showing love to fans and everybody. Opposing players, you know, he always give daps up, you know what I'm saying? And give credit where it's due. A lot of players don't actually do that. They refuse to give credit to the younger players. But LeBron has always give credit. Like Luka, he's gave him credit for over the past two seasons. He gave Trey Young a lot of love. Like these people that supposedly be going for the crown, he gives a lot of love to. Until they're on the court together, then he tries to show them I'm still that man. I think we had to figure out exactly what they was doing. Yeah, was, uh, uh, motherfucker! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that got me. Yeah, that got me. Try not to smile, challenge. It ended a long, long time ago. So I'm just, I'm just watching. I'm just watching. Dirk on Julius Randle. Buckets. Buckets. Is that Kobe on the sideline? He just showed love to? It is. Yeah, it is. Two legends showing respect to each other, man. Both in old age. He said, "Tough shot, well, tough shot, fact. He was a tough shot. He only had ten assists total. Every time Derrick Rose is in games, Chicago, he had eleven assists tonight. Um, well, that's what he's they do the MVP. Yeah, that's MVP. Right. Oh, I ain't even noticed. Joe Kim is there too. My two yeah, favorite Bulls, Bulls of all time, man. Yeah. Getting some, still some cheers from the, the Bulls, Bulls lost fans. To the also, a bunch of Nick fans here as just, well. You know, just the way it goes. That's uh, nice. Just the way it goes. Both of them you know what I'm saying? The Bulls suck. Oh my God. Okay. What am I looking at here? That's Kobe." And LeBron, oh, that's Kobe and Mike. Yes, I saw this going around on Twitter recently too, because apparently uh, Kobe Bryant is supposed to be in the next episode of The Last Dance. So they've been just showing clips of them two together, All Star Game, the this moment. Yeah, man, a lot of Kobe, man, a lot of Kobe. Just enjoying everything, just enjoying success. And that's number eight, Kobe. You know what I'm saying? He ain't even switched over to 24 just yet. So we talking young. Not Froby. He got rid of the Fro, but it's still eight Kobe. You know what I'm saying? Still number eight. Okay, Steph Curry and Kobe. Kobe putting the clamps on the young, young. Oh, never mind. My fault. <laughs> I mean, Kobe was putting the clamps on. Steph Curry got a little bit of room, and that's all he really needed. And Kobe show him love. Yeah, you know he did. You know he did. Kobe's that guy too, just like Bra. He'll show the love to the younger generation. You know what I'm saying? If they if they deserve it, they deserve it. LeBron missed the dunk. This is a lot of Kobe clips, man. And I ain't, I'm, that's not a complaint. You know what I'm saying? We love Kobe around here. Love Kobe right here. Yeah. A lot of things are bigger than basketball, man. A lot of things are bigger than basketball. A fan is heckling him, and he looks to see who it is, and it's Kobe Bryant. I like that he showed love. Forget about the game. Let me stop and appreciate greatness. During a timeout earlier. Dang, man. In a break, they showed Kobe Bryant. It's a, it, it took a real turn that quick, bro. It took a real turn. All right. Let's see what we got here. Jimmy Butler with a miss. Ripped it out of Nene's hands. To Taj. What the heck is that? Oh. Who's down? Is that Jimmy? That is Jimmy down. I don't remember Jimmy Butler getting injured when he was a part of Minnesota. Ooh. Hmm. This is one of the toughest and that's Paul looking at them. And if he's not legit hurt, he rarely, he doesn't stay on the ground, babe. Yeah, that's crazy. That's how Thibodeau mad because James Harden got a bucket. Does it try not to smile? That looks more serious than smiling situation. But it is what it is. Hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe. We'll be back. I'm out.